Feed me chicken. Trade with a YouTube. Oh. Uh. Hello YouTube. I am Feed Me Chicken. How the cluck are you? Well, we're in January 2021. And I've got to say I am very fortunate to be doing trades with tubers. So, at the minute, I've got two to show you. So, here's the first one. Ooh. Right, well, this one is the first one comes from... <laughs> um, so, how this came about. So, I went on Retro Chef Shop at uh, the back end of December. The one just before New Year. Um... I kind of ruined the stream, so everyone that was watching and everyone that was on that stream, I apologise, I was really muffled, you really couldn't hear me, and looking back, I'm not quite sure the um, quality was there either. So everyone that was on that stream, I apologise, however, out of that stream, like I said, I've got two trades out of it, so obviously I'm a winner, just saying that no one else was. Anyway. Bull ha 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 got in contact and he said you know um, he's interested in two of the games I showed um, and he already knew that I was interested in one of his ones so fortunate for me is that I was like yes straight away so what did I get now that I've done all this yakking right well, let's open the box and I will show you it. so inside the world package box is an envelope Inside the envelope is that's right, Psychonauts for the original Xbox. I cannot tell you how happy I am to finally own this game. Now I am fully aware that this comes on the PlayStation 2, but when I found out about this game, I really wanted it on the original Xbox, and all I see is rising and rising in price. So, whoa, ha, 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 ha. thank you very much. Great trade. Sadly, not much gameplay to show you because the copyright um, that Microsoft put on the original Xbox games will kick in. But this is just to show you that the game that I got from Bull Ha Ha. This time I didn't extend a ha 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 ha. Um, just to show A, it works, and just to express once again, I am extremely happy to own this now. So thank you very much. Hopefully, you are happy with what you got. Alright, moving along. From that same swap shop, and I do believe this gentleman was on the stream at the same time. And that is Gib84 Gaming. Now he got in contact through my Facebook page, which I'm really happy about because obviously, as I've said before, on my Facebook page, um, I've got all the stuff that I have got for trade and selling. So I'm actually cutting this one open because it's in two parts. So. Let's get into this and let's see what we've got. So yeah, like I said, I went through my Facebook page. Um, he messaged me out of the blue. Um, he's like, <laughs> what I found really funny was um, the way he um, started the conversation. All it was, was a picture and do you want any of these for trades? I was like, well, what is it that you want first? You know, because... Um, I had no idea what he wanted. Now, obviously, in the package, in the uh, ones that he was showing me, this was one of them. And I'll take it out of his um, bubble wrap. Let's go. There we go. Get into this. So, this 
So, also, you've already seen this FIFA game, it's free Xbox 360, and we have FIFA 15. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there puzzled as to why it is that FIFA 15 would be something I'd be interested in. Well, allow me to let you in on a little story. And the story goes, um, I have a son, and he was a gamer on the Xbox 360. Now, one of the games he was quite into was FIFA and when he came to upgrade into an Xbox One at the time he wanted to get rid of his 360 stuff now no matter what way you cut it um, the sorry the FIFA games although they're obviously a reincarnation of the game before they're still good games to play so when it came to him getting rid of his games and trading them into CEX, I kept FIFA 12, 13, and 14. Now, I went out and bought FIFA 16 when it obviously went in price. Um, so, you can imagine that my little OCD towards gaming um, took a bit of a bash when all I'm seeing in my rows 12, 13, 14, missing, 16. So when I saw this, I was like, yep, I'm going to have a number run now. So that explains that one. The next game, now the next, this next game I actually thought was an expensive game. Um, luckily for me, it's not. So I am happy with that. And once I get it out, it's very nice wrapping. And as you can see already, it's white, and it's a Wii game, and we have Battalion Wars 2. Let's just show you the inside, look at that. Lovely. Yeah, I actually thought that this game had gone up in price. Luckily it's not, so a very cheap game still, and I'm very happy to own it. So give 84 Gaming, thank you very much. Once again, just some footage just to show you the games that I got from Gib84 Gaming. So this is the game on the Wii. And the good thing about the Wii is that it's such an understated console. So what I mean by that is that it has its people who call it it's just a kid's console. Yeah, you know, they've got no serious games on it, etc, etc. You've all, you've all heard it all before. But then you've just got those games that people are not willing to uncover. And, you know, this game props up on a lot of um, people's games that go under the radar. I have not played it as yet. But I'm definitely looking forward to giving this one a whirl. And just seeing if um, those who played it before me are writing what they say. It does look like it contains quite a bit of humour. And yeah, what can I, what more can I say other than I can't wait to give this one a go. Not much footage here, just because when I was capturing the footage, the players were playing with a ball that did not exist, which was just plain hilarious, but really, really bad to show. But FIFA 15 and the Xbox 360 is here. So we are still in January and I have a third trade with a tuba. Although in this instance to say it's a third trade with a tuba is probably pushing the boat just a little bit. What this one is, is actually a completion of a trade that we did in December or in my last you trade with a tuba video. So here it is. I love that. Look at that. FM chicken. I love I love that. I really do. So the tuber in question is Mr. Cooper's World. And the game that I got sent was Prototype. Now, I already have Prototype 2, which I got from a car boot. Um, but this is an important story from my point of view because I do feel that the way I've been treated by Cooper's World really encapsulates the community. Now, we began this trade in December. Um, obviously, I sent him some stuff. I got 
originally the PSP game of Medal of Honor. And obviously this is going to complete that deal. However, what's kind of frustrating is that Cooper's World got messed around. And he really has gone through hoops. He has jumped through fire. Don't get me wrong, the, the game is cheap, you know. Um, just all, just everything that Cooper's World has gone through in order to complete this trade is far, far beyond anything I, I personally could have expected. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't have blamed him if he just said, look, this is a bit of a headache. We'll just drop it and if I find something... Maybe we can complete it later on when I've got something, you know. But no, he didn't do that. He said, look, CEX are telling me that it got sent in at this time. Did you get it? Is it with a neighbour? No, it wasn't. So he then had to go back to CEX. And yeah, it's a lot of work for obviously a cheap game. But I mean, the effort, the sheer persistence that he has showed just for me to get the game, really, really does say something. A, for the man that's behind the YouTube channel, but B, like I said, he encapsulates what this community is all about. So, Cooper's World, I am extremely grateful. I can't really express in words how much I appreciate the effort you've gone through just so I can get this game. So I'm kind of hoping that through this video you, you, you get the fact that I am actually really, really appreciative of it. And again, I do feel that what you've done just embodies the community spirit. I really do feel that. So, like I said, thank you very much. I look forward to playing it. And here we have just a little bit of the introduction to Prototype on the Xbox 360 quite a lot going on kind of reminds me of um, like Crackdown and you know, it was like an open world basically kind of kill everything that's there I don't know too much about the story but looking at this it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun so thank you very much Cooper's World You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video. Also, let me know how you found me. Below is a link to my Facebook page. It is the only bit of social media I do between YouTube and you guys. This is where you will see photos of the items I have for sale or for trade. I do not do Twitter and I do not do Instagram. Take care.